Hi, everyone, and welcome to this edition of the CBSSports.com NASCAR Team Review and Preview and a look at Richard Childress Racing. RCR put all three of its drivers in the chase in 2008 with Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, and Clint Boyer all qualifying for the playoff season. But while Burton did challenge for the title in the early going, ultimately RCR came up short of its bid for the championship. Burton's season included two wins, a thrilling victory in the spring Bristol race and a checkered flag at Lowe's Motor Speedway in October. No one's ever proven to me why you can't do it 41 what you could do at 23. And, and um, if you convince yourself you can't, then you can't. You know, lay Mark Martin up in a 21-year-old race car and see, uh, see what that 21-year-old thinks when he gets back out of it. And, you know, it's just, it is what it is. We're lucky to be in a sport that you can be successful in your 40s. Um, you know, you can convince yourself you're too old to do it. And trust me, a lot of people will convince, try to convince you you're too old to do it. But, uh, you know, there's, uh, a, with age comes, comes a lot of advantages, too. And uh, we'll try to take care, take those advantages every chance we get. But after getting as high as second in the standings, Burton faded in the chase and finished the year sixth. Teammate Harvick turned in a consistent year and wound up fourth in the final Spring Cup Series standings. However, Harvick went winless in 2008 and has not scored a victory since his season opening Daytona 500 win in 2007. Boyer's year included a Nationwide Series championship and his second career Spring Cup win, which came at Richmond in May. I knew we had a, a better race car than we qualified, and I knew we would be, you know, I, I thought we were a top 10 car, and then we kind of became a top 5 car, and, um, you know, you're not always, a, the fastest car doesn't always win, and that was certainly the case of the BB&T Chevrolet. We were fast all night, and once we got up there in clean air, we were able to, to uh, you know, run a lot better, but, uh, um, you know, you got to be able to, to be there for the taking at least, and we were close enough to, to do just that. Uh, it's pretty wild out there. I think it was uh, it was bound to happen. I think, you know, I, I was watching it. Richard, he was on the radio saying, it's going to happen, and, and sure enough, it did happen. <laughs> he finished fifth in the final standings and now faces a new challenge as RCR opens a new chapter in its history next season. Boyer will move to the team's new number 33 entry as RCR grows from a three- to four-car stable. Sponsor General Mills comes on board to back Boyer's new ride, with crew chief Shane Wilson also coming over to the team. Casey Mears moves from Hendrick Motorsports to RCR and will pilot Boyer's former entry, the number 07 Jack Daniels Chevy. Burton's new number 31 will be backed by Caterpillar in 2009, while Harvick returns to the Shell-sponsored number 29 Chevy. The growing RCR stable will look to take another step in closing in on Hendrick and Roush in 2009 and challenge for a Spring Cup Series championship. For the CBSSports.com NASCAR team review and preview, this is Pete Bistoni reporting.